Study Club. It is Pixie and it is tattoo time. Tat two time. My second tat. Tat number two. Tat two. It is in technically 18 minutes, but we're here now, but we just messed around because my SD card was full. That was a minor spook. I'm really excited. This is my uh, scar cover up tattoo. If you missed the video I did about my scars and my leg, then you can catch up by watching that. It's the sad one. It's on my channel. If you want to see me talking about sad stuff, you can do that. And then this will make more sense. But I'm really excited. I'm a little nervous because of how much people say tattooing over scar tissue hurts. Um, and they're like, if they're keloid scars, if they're bumpy and raised, then it will hurt really bad. And I'm like, my scars are really bumpy and raised. So, um, we're gonna see how that's gonna go. But, like, pain-wise from the first one, I'm not scared. If I wasn't getting it on scar tissue, I don't think I'd be, like, spooked at all. I feel pretty fine. I'm eating my sun chips. I'm munching on candy canes. I'm singing do re mi songs. We're doing good. Mm -hmm. Um... The appointment's for four. She said it would take like three to three and a half hours, I think. I'm here with my mom. Whoa! Um, because I love her. <laughs> and because she's my mom and I love her. I don't know what else to say. I'm really nervous. Let's go! Ah! Because you're crown you're oh, crowning. No, okay. I thought you were like, this is the most pain I've ever felt in my life. It doesn't feel awesome. <laughs> Sorry. That was okay. Yeah. Does it hurt? I think I'll get used to it. Ooh, that's not a good feeling. <laughs> Ooh. Relax. Uh, Does it really hurt that much? A lot, yeah. more, a lot more than Nico. A lot more than my arm. But it's okay. It's okay. It's gonna be awesome, and I'm super excited. You can tough. You can be tough. It's gonna be awesome. How are you feeling, Jillian? This hurts super bad, but I'm excited. <laughs> Out of my little. Bug. You're not whining too much. Good job. I'm trying not to. Just making faces helps. I don't want to be more annoying than I have to be. <laughs> Like, as long as I say, stay still and mostly shut up, it doesn't matter what I do with my mane. <laughs> oh, yeah, if you want to get your scars covered, totally do it, but like, ouch. I'll be fine. I'm fine. I'm gonna have the coolest leg ever. I made my mom watch the last episode of Ojo Magic Journey last night. Mom, yes. do you understand my feelings now? Yeah. I mean, that doesn't explain, like, the whole thing, mm -hmm. but, like, to summarize my feelings in one 20-minute episode. Yes. I understand. You understand my feelings. Okay, awesome. Yeah. It's a good one. Also, if anyone wants, like, a small taste of Odomajo Dynamite, let me give you some painful anime wrecks. Episode 40 of Dokkan, the last season, was animated by a different animator, and it's really cool and weird and kind of can stand alone as, like, its own movie special. It's really good. I couldn't get it to play last night. This is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. She's making like the most heinous face. This is a great angle for you. Mom. I know. It's not a good... I, I wore the turtleneck for a reason. Not actually. <laughs> Lucky choice though. 
and it's really uh, not hurting at all, right? Oh my god, it's I can tell when it's on scars and when it's not. I was like, either it's gonna be a lot more numb or a lot worse. It's really bad. It's really bad, but I don't want to scare people away from getting tattooed over scars because, like, I think it's really gonna be worth it, and I think I'm gonna like love my leg again and not be sad. But um, <laughs> ouch. <laughs> <laughs> You're so tough. I'm kind of tough. I only cried once. once you held it in really well. Stamper, I'm one proud of you for doing it in one session. Thank you. I was slightly worried. Was like, right uh, before we did the the final, you were like, I don't want to do it. I was too. really close to like <laughs> running. This was a really, really important day for me because this is a tattoo I've wanted for over five or six years now. I always knew I wanted a magical girl tattoo and especially to tattoo over my self-harm scars. Um, I really wanted to kind of get this to celebrate overcoming it and recovering from my eating disorder especially and um, the self-harm as well. And I'm really, 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 really happy with how it turned out. Um, we went to uh, Helena Darling, or Darling Tattoos, in Halifax. She's amazing. Uh, she had done several Magical Girl wand tattoos before, which is why we wanted to go to her. She was so funny and wonderful and sweet, and I love her, and I want to go to her for all my tattoos from now on forever till I die. She's the best. Um, but I do want to say that the pain was excruciating. I know people had warned me that getting tattooed over scars, especially bumpy raised keloid scars like mine, was gonna hurt more, but I was like, how bad can it hurt? The first tattoo didn't really hurt that bad. Really bad. Really bad. And it was crazy too, because like, um, probably a third of the tattoo is on like normal unscarred skin that is above it and that part was a breeze so it's not like and i was like am i just being a wimp am i just being a wuss um but no it was really bad so i don't know just definitely keep that in mind um i'm really glad that i did get it done in one session though i was really worried about that she did have a numbing cream for me to use which was wicked so we did all of the line work first and then applied the numbing cream then she started doing the coloring and shading and then we reapplied it two more times after that because it only really lasts like 10 to 15 minutes um, but that helped a lot for sure there was one point where I may or may not have shed a tear I am a pain crier and I was so good for so long and then it was right like five minutes before we did the last application of the numbing cream and it was just like it felt like a like a knife dragging through my flesh. It was so like unbearable. It got to a point where I was like, I need to stop, I need to tap out. But I love my tattoo. I'm really glad I got it all done in one sitting. It's a pretty big tattoo on a pretty painful area, so like, go me! My pain tolerance is very low and I don't like pain, so like good good job. I'm really happy. I, I'm really happy with it. I hope this helps me to kind of love my leg again, especially because when I started to recover from my anorexia and bulimia, I recovered kind of quickly, you know what I mean? Once you kind of snap your brain out of that mindset and you start eating normally, 
you can go from like 95 pounds to 120 pounds pretty quick whenever you start like eating again so I do have stretch marks and um, I really want to kind of come to terms with that and love that and I know like something crazy like 95% of American women have cellulite and it's so bizarre that that is something that is not really out in the media all that much yet. I really hope that that's kind of the next big wave of body positivity is like love your cellulite, love your stretch marks, how many people have them? So many, especially women. Also men, but especially women. Um, so yeah, I really, I really want to love my leg again. And I'm really excited that now when I look down at it, I'm not like, oh, gross, that's sad. That's something I need to hide forever. And I'm like, man, that's the coolest tattoo ever. I've wanted this for years and years. And I'm okay. And I healed. And I recovered. And things are good now. And uh, yay. <laughs> this is the one. That's the main one of the tattoo. I guess I can talk about the actual tattoo because I wanted to kind of keep it a secret until I got it on my leg. The main wand is the Peperito Puron from Ojimajidori Mi. Um, Ojimajidori Mi is an early 2000s magical girl anime um, by Toei Animation, same studio that did Pretty Cure, um, and it's amazing. It is a witchy magical girl series, and it's four seasons long, so it's about 201 episodes, not counting Naisho. I'm talking really fast because we're talking about something I care about. <laughs> Simmering. And Doremi really, like, touched me to the depths of my soul like I have never been so attached to a piece of media in my life um, I don't want to give spoilies so I won't but basically it's like a very happy fluffy cute wonderful charming loving relatable anime but all of the conflict, for the most part, the real true conflict at the core of the series is painfully realistic, right? It's not like one of those, it's not like the conflict is fantastical and there's like an evil person and like there is some of that too, but when it comes down to it, the big conflict just kind of hits you like a brick wall. You get so distracted by how they're so cute and fluffy past all magical girl witches like passing their magical girl exams and then they're faced with really relatable real life quarrels and trials and tribulations and that inspired me a lot especially with the ending of season four which again I won't spoil but basically it came to me at a point in my life where I really, really, really needed it. I finished um, the fourth season right around the time that I was graduating high school, and oh my god, I could not have, I could not have watched that at a better time for me. So that's why the biggest wand is this from Doremi. And I didn't want it to just be an Ojimaja Doremi tattoo, I wanted it to kind of encompass all of Magical Girl, like all different kinds of Magical Girl uh, media that has kind of helped me and inspired me. So I wanted to also include a Pretty Cure item and a Cardcaptor Sakura item. So I have the Hartiel Baton from uh, its Shiny Luminous's weapon from Futariwa Precure Max Heart. And um, that is, it's the sequel to the first season of Pretty Cure. Pretty Cure is like my favorite thing in the whole world. I just when people say super fan, I am a pretty cure super fan. It's an issue. It is like, I want to find another human on this planet that is more of a pre cure fan than I, that is not a child living in Japan, and I want to battle them, and I want to come out on top, and I want the title of biggest pre cure fan on the planet. So I included the heart tail baton, because I was like, I can't get a magical girl tattoo and not have it be pre cure, because then, like, who am I? And of course, I wanted to include the star key from Cardcaptor Sakura, just because Cardcaptor Sakura is wonderful and beautiful and a classic. I really think that helped to kind of pioneer the magical girl genre. And the text, which is the most, like, glaring thing on the tattoo, um, says strong, kind, beautiful. And that is from Go Princess Princess! Precure, uh, which is my favorite Precure series, and every episode would start with strong, kind, beautiful, three princesses aiming for their dreams, blah, 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 and then it would play the theme song, and it was just this recurring theme, always like, oh, you have to be strong and kind and beautiful, tsuyoku, yasashiku, utsukushiku, and 
I just, I really, really stick to that. That is like my main, that's like my life motto that keeps me going when I feel lost, when I feel confused, when I feel challenged, when I feel hurt, when I feel depressed, sad, anxious, scared, relapsing, anything. Just remember, strong, kind, beautiful. In any situation, usually one of those will apply to help you. You're like, hey, gotta be strong. Hey, gotta be kind. Hey, you're beautiful. Please eat the sandwich. <laughs> so yeah, that that's my magical girl tattoo. I finally got it. I finally got it. I'm just so glad and I love it so much. Please go give Helena some love. Um, she rocks. Sorry if I ever said Helena in this video. I know a Helena in real life and the name is spelled the same, but you can pronounce it different ways. It's Helena, like the My Chemical Romance song. <laughs> she rocks! I'll link her down below. Go give her some love and let her know that um, she rocks. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you in the next video, which is not this one because this one is over. Bye!